I'm Brad Nessler, joined by the coach, Lee Corso, and the quarterback, Kirk Herbstreet. It's going to be cold out there today for the Michigan Wolverines and the Maryland Terrapins. The college football season starting to wind down, hopefully. Michigan is led by their running back. Now, I had a chance to talk to him about this game, and believe me, he is ready to run all over this defense. Coach, I expect him to have a big game on the ground. I agree with you on this one. I'm going with the big blue. They'll get the ball here at the 26-yard line. Going with the shotgun here. He jukes. Brought down. The running back gets two on the carry. It's second down and eight to go. Ball on the 28. Ace backfield, drops back to pass, across the middle. He was looking for his running back, but the pass just sailed on him. Third and eight, ball on their own 28. Edwards is dangerous. Let's see if they put the ball in his hands. Setting up the play action. He's going right. That is ball. The defender could only get a hand on it. And a hand on it? If this kid wants to be a big-time playmaker, he better start getting two hands on it. Yeah, Lee, that ball should have been picked off there. Michigan lining up the punt. It's away, and it's a booming punt. Jarrett calls for the fair catch, and they make the fair catch at the 23. We'll get a chance to see if this offense can fare any better than their counterparts. This safety's a big-time player, but he's going to have to play his best game today. He faces a quarterback that can make you pay if you're not careful. I'm predicting an interception by this kid today. Ha! I like that! Kirk making a call. Let's see if he picks off one before this game is over. That was a big-time play and a new set of downs. I think the defense might have been thick and run there, Coach. Well, I don't blame him. It's pretty common to see a run on first and second down, but this offense is keeping them guessing. First and ten. Ball on the 50. The Terrapins line up with two tight ends. Play action. Across the middle. Batted away. He got his hand up and knocked down the bullet at the line of scrimmage. That's some excellent awareness right there. He got his hand up just in time. So it's second and ten. Ball right around midfield. Number three. Lines up in the shotgun. Drops back to pass. Down the middle. Incomplete. He was looking for his running back, but the pass just sailed on him. Third and ten. Ball right around midfield. Number three with four wide receivers. He drops back. Steps up in the pocket. Across the middle. That close to being intercepted. Looks like he tried to force that. The defense was in a zone there, and the quarterback needs to do a better job of finding a passing window to throw to it. Well, that window must have been tinted because he almost threw a pick. They send out the punting unit. Number two, back to return. Cut. Number 98 boots it way up there. Number two signals for a fair catch. He hauls it in at the 11. So the offense takes over, and the last time they had the ball, they had a tough time getting anything going. Right. They'll set up shot at the 11-yard line. The Wolverine come out in the ace formation. Trying to juke. Tackle. That's a three-yard pickup. Here's where the offense stands compared to the rest of the nation. Yeah, they sure are struggling when they have the ball. Nothing good seems to happen when they're on offense. Number zero is in the zone and looking to make something happen. Back to pass. 
He steps up, looking. He tosses it short, and it's caught. He might have a chance, and he is drilled. Nice decision by the quarterback. Not only was it good decision-making, but the offensive line protected just long enough for him to find his target. And when you combine the two, it'll be a first down nine out of ten times. Edwards is feeling it, and he wants the football in his hands. Flags are all over the place, and they'll blow it dead. Well, the offense is helped out by that defensive penalty. You bet they are. That's an easy way to pick up yards. First down and five to go. Ball on their own 31. the would-be tackler. Cowan with a takedown. The running back gets two on the carry. Second and three. Ball on their own 33. The Wolverines line up in an eye formation. Max Numera on the option. He jukes it. Brought down. That was a pretty good run. Incredible effort there, running the football by this guy. It's first and ten, and this is the fifth play of the current drive. One man backfield. Edward gets the call. Big opening. Can't wrap him up. He's all the way down to the 29-yard line. That was a huge lift. Brad, you're right. A run like that can really get the momentum rolling. First and ten. This is the sixth play of this drive. Edwards wants the ball. We'll see if they give it to him. With the throw. And that one's fallen incomplete. Oh, come on. Give the receiver a chance to catch it. I think he tried to, Coach. No, he tried to impress everybody by throwing it as hard as he could. It's second down and 10 to go. Ball on the 29-yard line. The Wolverine come out the shotgun. On the ground with the tailback. Excellent play by the defense that time as they swallowed him up before he got back to the line. It's more like they devoured him. He had no shot of breaking clean. Here's how the defense has done so far this year. Not too well. Let me tell you something. They're not even close to good. But they're still out there playing hard every week. Throws it to the outside. It's tipped. The defender could only get a hand on it. A hand on it? If this kid wants to be a big-time playmaker, he better start getting two hands on it. Yeah, Lee, that ball should have been picked off there. Here comes the kicker. He'll try to put his team up by a field goal. The kick is up. And it sails through the uprights. The fine folks at Pontiac bringing us this summary of how that drive took place. Looks like they're ready for the kick. Garrett back to return. He kicks it. Number seven fields it in the end zone. They're just about ready to get this drive started. After their last series had some promise, but it ended with a punt. They'll go to work at the 25. At the 25 yard line. First and ten. The Terrapins line up with three wide. Drops back to pass, steps up, he's looking. Throws this one out to the left. Got it to his receiver. Way to look it in, nice catch. Sure was, he displayed some great hands there. Now we're looking at a first down. Right. 
It's first and ten. Ball on the 36. Ace backfield. Play action with the throw. It's deflected. That could have been a big play for the defense. Yeah, even though he had a good shot at picking it off, it's still a heck of a play to force the incomplete pass. So it's second and ten. Ball on their own 36. Number three, back in the gun. It's a direct snap. At the four. And he's tackled. He picked up big yardage on that one. I'll tell you what, Brad. They need to keep giving this kid the football. He's on a roll. It's first and ten. Ball on the 29-yard line. Maryland comes to the line, only one man in the backfield. He can scoop. Tackle. And the halfback rips off a nice game there to get him the first. Hey, this kid's a good-looking back. Let's see if they go to him again. First and ten. And this is the fifth play of the current drive. Number three is in the zone and looking to make a play. He drops back. And he's hit as he throws. The quarterback had a tough time with a blitz on that one. Now with this guy, you can't let him stand back there and have too much time to throw the ball. You've got to get a hand in his face. So it's second and ten. This is the sixth play of this drive. Number three lines up in the shotgun. Back to pass. Looks. And they got it. They get to the quarterback and end that play before it even got started. This young man didn't even have a chance to make something happen. It's tough to find your receivers when the defense is in your face like that. It's third down and 11 to go. Ball on the 20. Maryland in a four-wide set. Drops back to pass. Looking. He might not be able to get the pass off. And it's going the other way. Breaks one. McDonald brings him down. Oh, boy. I bet he knew as soon as he released that football that he shouldn't have made the throw. That's the thing. When you're under that kind of pressure, it takes away that one split second you need to scan the area so you know where it's a safe throw. And that's why a pass rush is so crucial to a defense. It allows you to intercept those passes from the quarterback. Michigan goes with the ace set here. McNamara will throw. Oh, no, they're going to hand it off. Gibson with a takedown. And that was a nice run. Kirk, that was a great job by that big offensive line. Yeah, it really was, Brad. And also, a nice read by the ball carrier to find that running lane. When you break one like that, you got to give a lot of credit to the offensive line. It's first and ten. Ball on the 45. The Wolverine come out in the shotgun. The ball is tipped, and it falls incomplete. Heads up play to bat it down. Yeah, and if you can't get to the quarterback or intercept the pass, the next best thing is to get a hand up. Second, Second and 10. Ball, ball on the 45-yard line. The Wolverine come out in the ace formation. McNamara steps back to pass. He's looking. Wants to throw outside. Someone got a hand on it. The corner made a good play on the ball. He sure did. This kid is very athletic. If he doesn't get a pick, he does his best to knock the ball down. It's third down and 10. Ball on their own 45. And the leader of the defense at corner is in the zone right now. Oh, great catch. Banks brings him down. That's how you convert third down, sweetheart. That was a good-looking play, wasn't the coach? Oh, yeah, this offensive coordinator must have seen something in the defense he really liked. First and ten, and this is the fifth play of the current drive. And they have three bunnies. And he's taken down. Michigan takes a timeout. The 
second down and seven to go. This is the sixth play of this drive. McNamara with four wide receivers. He drops back. Once and all, going deep. And he came down with it. What a catch. The wide receiver flew down the field on that touchdown connection. But he has the speed to stretch the defense, and his hands are getting better every single game. And he hits the PAT. The fine folks at Pontiac bringing us this summary of how that drive took place. Looks like they're ready for the kick. Jared, back to return. Nice kick, plenty of distance. Jarrett fields it in the end zone. We'll have to see now how the offense responds this time after throwing a pick on their last drive. They'll take over at the 25. The Turks line up with two tight ends. Back to pass. Over the middle. It's tipped. That's just good defense right there, Coach. It was, Kurtz. But you know what? It's all reaction. Anytime you're out there on defense and the pass is within arm's length away, you knock it down. It's second down and 10 to go. Ball on the 25-yard line. The Terrapins come out showing three wide. Drops back to pass. Steps up in the pocket. Throws this one out to the right. And it's the senior. About a seven-yard pickup that time on the pass. Third down and three coming up. Ball in the 32. The turn. Come out in the ace formation. On the ground with the tailback. Michigan calls a timeout. The Terrapins are lining up to punt it away. Number two, I need to return. He gets it away. Number two takes it to 28, makes a move. They moved the ball very effectively on their last drive, which ended with a touchdown. The defense has been talking it over on the sideline, trying to make some corrections. Let's see if they can stop them this time. They'll start this drive at the 36-yard line. The Wolverine set up in the gun. He drops back. Comes across the middle. Great coverage, and it's intercepted. And they badly needed that interception. It's sure going to help. If they can march down the field and score, watch out. We might have a game here. They'll set up shop at the 36. They come out in a nickel. They'll throw on first down. He'll dump this one off. Poor pass, and his tight end couldn't reach it. The intended receiver on the play. Second and ten. Ball on the 36. 36 yard line. The Terrapins come out in a shotgun. Back to pass. He steps up. Looks. Across the middle. Complete Johnson with a takedown. Maryland takes a timeout. It's first and ten. Ball in the 25. Number three lines up in the shotgun. They'll throw on first down. Steps up. And now he's going to improvise. Has some daylight. They'll bring him down. Maryland calls a timeout. And we take a quick look at the stats from within the red zone. Brought to you by Old Spice Red Zone. 
when performance matters the most. The Turks line up in a goal line formation. Drops back to pass. No short. And it's caught. Tackle. Back to the line. Maybe a yard on the pass. One yard gain on the one. They're crowding the line. And he stops the clock with a spike. See if they can take this one in for six. On the ground with the tailback. Touchdown, Terrapin. He got behind those big buffet busters and followed them into the end zone. <laughs> that doesn't do a whole lot for yards to carry out, but hey, it sure puts a dent in the scoreboard. And he tacks on the extra point. And now let's take a look at the drive summary brought to you by Pontiac. Maryland to kick this one off. Number two. And Bell, deep to return. He boots it deep downfield. And it goes into the end zone, down for a touchback. The offense with a lot of success through the air on that last drive as they moved it down the field for the touchdown. They'll get the ball here at the 25-yard line. McNamara comes to the line with three wide. Numera hands it off, and he's tackled. Four-yard gain by the back. Gain of four on the play. And we've reached halftime here. The score at the break, Michigan 10, Maryland 7. Michigan will be kicking off to start the second half. He kicks it. Jarrett fields it in the end zone. And now a slight break in the action as the offense comes out onto the field for their next possession. They'll go to work at the 25-yard line. First and 10. Nickel defense. He drops back. Steps up in the pocket. Looking. Across the middle. A little juke. Green brings him down. Good pickup by the receiver. Yeah, this kid loves the play. He wants the ball every time they throw it up. Maryland comes to the line. Only one man in the backfield. out of bounds at the 39. And that was an outstanding run by that young man. Brad, you're exactly right. The ball carrier is able to break through the secondary without much resistance at all. First and 10. Ball on the 39. Hey. Maryland goes with the ace set here. He's rolling left. Over the middle. And it's intercepted. And that was their second interception of the game. They'll start this drive at the 14-yard line. Two tight ends set on the ground with the tailback. And he's taken down. The running back gets two on the carry. Hey, 
It's second down and eight to go. Ball on their own 16. The Wolverine come out in the ace formation. McNamara drops back, throws it to the outside. It's tipped. Oh, he had a shot at the pick. They're really fortunate that wasn't intercepted. Not a very smart decision by the quarterback. He had no shot at completing it. Yeah, but that defender had a perfect shot at it. He just didn't catch it. Third and eight. Ball on the 16. McNumera lines up in the shotgun. Back to pass. He's looking. Throws it deep downfield. And that one's fallen incomplete. So they go three and out after that incompletion. The Wolverine line up the punt. It's off, and it is a dandy. Jarrett fields it at the 35. I'm sure the coach has talked to his team about not turning the ball over again in this possession. They'll take over at the 49-yard line. Michigan comes out defensively with six defensive backs. They'll throw on first down. Look. Throws it to the outside, and it falls incomplete, and he overthrew his wide receiver. I don't know too many seven-foot guys played football, so maybe he should aim lower the next time. So it's second and ten. Ball on the 49-yard line. The Terps come out in a shotgun. Drops back and pass. Throws this one out to the right. It's intercepted, and this could be a big return. Inside the 30, to the 10, touchdown, Michigan. And that is not what they had in mind. It was simply a bad play. Turnovers are bad on all, but when you add to the fact that it results in points for the opposition, uh-oh, that will kill you every time. And he hits the PAT. And just over two minutes left here in the third. The score is Michigan 17, Maryland 7. Michigan is ready to kick it away. Sends it sailing downfield. Jarrett fields it in the end zone. Let's watch this defense and how aggressive they are. They were able to get a pick the last time, and they're like a wild animal. When they smell blood, they go in for the kill. Take it easy, coach. You're getting excited. Hey, that's right, sweetheart. I'm always excited. Four wide. Gets the ball. No, they faked it with the throw. And he can't hang on to it. This incompletion is credited to the wideout. Absolutely. The quarterback executed his end of the deal. It's second down and 10 to go. Ball on the 25. Number three is back in the gun. Back to pass. He's going right. And they couldn't hook up on that one. I know the pass was fired pretty hard, but you still have to catch it. That's right. The only reason it's out there is to catch the football. Third and ten. Ball on the 25-yard line. And the man at wideout is in a zone right now. Drops back to pass. Throws this one out to the right. And this could be a big return. Tackle. Make that the fourth interception on the day for this defense. I said it before, and I'll say it again. This secondary is one of the best in the United States. No doubt about it. They're very athletic, and they're also well coached. They're crowding the line.
shake and bake move. Touchdown, Michigan! He made a great move to get into the end zone. There's a perfect play call. They look like they practiced that one a few times. And he tacks on the extra point. So with less than two to go in the third quarter, our score, Michigan 24, Maryland 7. Moody is lined up to kick this Michigan one off. Is lined up with a kick off. Number seven. Nice kick, plenty of distance. Jarrett fields it in the end zone. We'll have to see now how the offense responds this time after throwing a pick on their last drive. They'll set up shot at the 25-yard line. First and ten. Three wideouts here. back at this and remember this is one of the hits of the year. That guy can really bring it. It's second down now and 13 to go. Ball on their own 22. Number three has four receivers lined up here. Gets the ball. No, they faked it. Deep ball and he's got a man open. And he got it. And he's out of bounds at the 24. Now that was a good looking play. The quarterback put it where his receiver could get it, and now they have a first down. What I like is the faith that this quarterback has in his receiver. He's not afraid to throw it downfield. First and 10. Ball in the 25. Three the Terrapins one. come out in the ace formation. Hot. Again with the run, and he's hit hard. A two-yard run by the halfback. It's second down and eight to go. Ball in the 23. Number three with three wide receivers. Back to pass. And they try to set up a screen. Got it to the senior. A one-yard gain on the play. One-yard gain on the play. They're down in seven, and this is the fifth play of the current drive. Now's not the time for a blown coverage. This quarterback is in the zone. The ball is tipped, so he throws it right at the safety there. Yeah, he was lucky that one wasn't picked up. Excellent job by the defender that time preventing the score. They'll line it up for the field goal. It's up, and it sails right on him, no good. They'll get the ball here at the 22. Michigan lines up with three receivers. And the ball carrier. He spins, and down he goes. Picked up big yards there, and he's going to have a first down. Yeah, nice job there. This guy does a good job in reading his blocks and accelerating through the holes. It's first and ten. Ball on their own 34. The Wolverine go with the eye formation with the throw. The ball is tipped. Oh, boy, almost intercepted. Gibson on the cover. Well, the players love to run these types of plays because it's out of the ordinary of what they usually do on offense. So when they finally call the play, you have to execute it because you don't get many chances to do it again. And I think they have the wrong guy throwing the football. But I guess that's why he's not the real quarterback. And he's tackled. The offensive line got a really good push there, allowing the back to pick up nine on the play. Hey, 
Third down and a yard. Ball on the 43. Michigan comes out with two tight ends. Third and short, and they hand it off. Jufu Cowan with a takedown. The running back gets the first. Gain of two on the play. It's first and ten. This is the fifth play of this drive. Going with the shotgun here. Field. The D lineman wasn't letting anyone buy him that time. And the big fella did a heck of a job plugging up the hole where that play was supposed to go. That guy's so big, Kirk, he, he doesn't plug up holes. He plugs up the whole line down there. Yo. Second down and 12. And this is the sixth play of the drive. Yeah. If they're not careful, this impact corner is going to make them pay. down the offensive line got a really good push there allowing the back to pick up nine on the play so another third down upcoming for the offense they come out in a nickel Picked up a first down on that run, Coach. Yep, and you know, if you can pick up a few more first downs on the ground like that, it will really open up the play-action pass. It's first and ten. Ball on the 42. Maryland lines up with five defensive backs. the ground with the tailback tries to juke he's on the run the 10 he's all the way touchdown nice call nice blocking and an even better run those guys up front must have been hitting those sleds pretty hard in practice the only reason this kid was able to show his good playability is because the offensive lineman executed their assignments to perfection And he tacks on the extra point. So with less than a minute to go in the fourth quarter, the score is Michigan 31, Maryland 7. Michigan to kick this one off. Number seven, back to return. He hits a booming kick. Number seven fields it in the end zone. A missed field goal was the result of the last drive. We'll have to see if they can come through with something this possession. They'll start this drive at the 25-yard line. The coach has put in a new quarterback, and I can't blame him because four picks is way too many. Throws, and there's a fumble. It's ripped up, and it's a lineman that's got it. Man
Heroin takes a timeout. Right, it's second down, 15 to go. Ball in the 20. Maryland lines up in the shotgun set. Drops back to pass. He steps up. He's going right. And that one's fallen incomplete. Third and 15 coming up. Ball on the 20-yard line. And this impact receiver is looking to make a play. He's in the zone. High snap. And they try to set up a screen. They're really fortunate that wasn't intercepted. Not a very smart decision by the quarterback. He had no shot at completing it. Yeah, but that defender had a perfect shot at it. He just didn't catch it. The Turks line up the punt. Number 98 gets it off. Number two fields it at the 39. He tries to spin. They did a great job on their last drive, moving the ball down the field for a touchdown. Let's see if they can duplicate that on this drive. They'll take over at the 50. We should just see the quarterback take a knee right here, winding down the rest of this clock. Second down and 12. Ball right around midfield. This is the kind of running back who can make you pay when he's in the zone. And that's pretty much going to do it. Kirk, any final thoughts here? You know, I think it was a well-played game for the most part. Maryland probably feels they should have won this game, but they just didn't make enough big plays when they needed to. Folks, That's it's been a lot of fun, of and I hope you can join us again next time. Our final Michigan score on this one, 31. Michigan 31, Maryland 7. Brad Nessler for Lee Corso and Kirk Herbstreit signing off. So long, everybody.